Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Rip. And videos today from the Modern King. Woman gets arrested after committing paternity fraud. What? Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Ask you that. Chow. Chow Time. You are. I'm not accepting illegal service from you. He can have it served properly by a Connecticut state marshal. Do we serve properly? No, it's not. No, it's not. Sorry that he's too. It, sorry that he's too much of an idiot. Copy. That he doesn't know how to okay. properly serve something. The okay. court specifically gave instructions. The court tells you it is your. It says it right on the paperwork. It is your duty to give it to a Connecticut state marshal. Has to serve in hand. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. This order is not in effect until it is properly served. It was never properly served. I was never even notified about it until they come and tell me. Miss, this is your copy, all right? The father's not in New York. Nobody lives in New York. New York has no jurisdiction. Get this away from me. Okay. Okay. That's not mine. I'm not taking any service from you. You're not a state marshal in Connecticut. Okay. Only Connecticut state marshals can serve that properly and you have to serve me with the original okay that's not how it works but sure lady and you didn't well this is like they're they're basically causing trauma to my child right now okay ma'am here's your copy of this form you're not allowed to serve me okay. this is the form that we did serve you if you want to keep it for your own records you can okay to give context she lost custody and i assume she tried to leave the state or country because she's at an airport. Mm -hmm. But since she's not above the law, like she thinks she is, they don't allow her to leave and serve her papers. So you were behind my back? Yeah, I'm grown. I'm old enough now. I feel like I got the right to do that. So I just wanted to get a test and see what is my daddy. And so you called him? Yeah, I called him. He was like, um, he thought, I was his son, <laughs> so that means that. I don't, we don't see nothing funny. Nah, 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 nah. Cause Cause he, nah cause but but told see, me. I told you it was your dad. I, 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 first of all, first of all, that is your dad. Wow, the gaslighting that's happening right now to her own son, and this is what these single mothers do to their sons: gaslight them most of their life. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know who you took the test with, and what you had going on. But that, that's your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds good, but look. I'm just it sounds good. Nah, that's the result. The result will say what it say now. Nah. I, I, I can't lie. I can't fake no results. Now, if you had something going on, then the man that was my daddy. First of all, you didn't have no business going behind my back. That's what you didn't have no business doing. How is it behind your back? It is his own information and is his own blood, his own DNA. He gets to do what he wants with it, like go test it with his father. Yeah, yeah, but I just feel like I ain't had no bond with him like that. I knew something was off. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted to go get my results and, and see what's going on. No empathy whatsoever. The, the kid said something felt off. He felt a way about it. So he went to got the test. She's just going to gaslight him. Let me tell you something. It's okay. You know, I'm, I'm old enough. I understand. Now, if, he ain't, if, if my real dad ain't want to take care of me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and See, some things are better left unsaid. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, now all of a sudden, some things are better left unsaid. Like it was. I ain't tell you. I told you that was your daddy. You should have went right on with it all these years. You 18 years old, 19 years old now. You and It's no sense trying to go behind our back and figure it out. You too old now. So after she gets caught lying to her son and the other men for over 18 years, she wants to play victim and act like he's the one in the wrong for seeking out the truth. He betrayed on the subway to ask for my phone number. Well, it looks like there still are some guys approaching women. He should have just asked for a dollar at that point. He would have gained more from that conversation than that. Oh, dear. It doesn't sound like it went very well, no. does it? He had the audacity to be like, wait, hold up. Do you have a boyfriend? Because I don't talk to girls in relationships. Wait, that's a bad thing that he asked? How so? I don't talk to men who aren't competitive, okay? If you can't fight, just say that. Wow. <laughs> and here I thought it just sounded like the guy was being respectful. Stop trying to act like you're a good person. You're not a good person. You're approaching a woman alone on the subway. You're a terrible human being. Wait, what? What? Oh, here you go, guys. More reason. Just us approaching a woman alone in the subway. We're horrible human beings. Horrible. 
why not be like, what's your boyfriend's address? Let me kill him with my bare hands and then take you out for dinner. Um, what? Hmm. Romance. Crazy. Well, doesn't that Crazy. Like the beginnings of a very healthy relationship? Men don't know how to talk to women nowadays. And a lot of women really don't seem to know what they want either. And they seem to have gotten their ideas of what romance actually is from a novel that they picked up at the grocery store. Where are the men who would wake up just so they could be the man who wakes up next to you? Well, I'm sorry to what? have to break it to you, but those men, they've already woken up and they've left. Because you see, men have now realized there's no real benefit to waking up next to you. We've nope. seen that while you demand, demand, demand things from us, you offer little to nothing in return. At least not anything we can't already get without involving ourselves in a relationship with you. And on top of that, for decades now, y'all told us you didn't want us. Y'all told us you didn't need us. We heard you. And now we're off making a better life for ourselves. One that doesn't involve you. Would we like to have a great relationship? Sure, who wouldn't? But men have finally figured out that the risk simply isn't worth the reward anymore. And now that you guys are figured out that we figured it out, well, now you're wondering, where did all the men go? And then there's this. Like, where are the men who would walk 500 miles? And I would walk 500 miles. Now you know why I was never the lead singer in any of the bands I was in. Anyway, last I knew, they were raking in the royalties still from that song they created 30 years ago that I still can't get out of my head. And then walk another 500 miles for a total of a thousand just to fall down at your door. No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there's no way in hell I'm singing that god-awful song to you. All kidding aside, the point I want to make is that Women often want men to meet the expectations of things they hear in songs or see in the movies. As I frequently call it, they're searching for that perfect Disneyland prince, mm -hmm. the one that doesn't actually exist, but yet they all think does and that they deserve. Men see it for what it is, an expectation of perfection, something no one can achieve. And knowing that, why would they enter into a relationship with so that was a very good way to put it an expectation of perfection that is the major problem because they have this fantasy in their minds and as they get to know us their fantasy fades slowly so we don't match their fantasy anymore <laughs> someone who expects that of them someone who actually believes a man should walk 500 a thousand even a million miles just to be with them. Men are done playing these silly little games, ladies. Life is not a rom-com or some romantic song. Life is, well, life. life. And the completely unrealistic expectations that you've all set now, oh wait, sorry, the higher standards, have reached a level of absurdity that men look at it and go, yeah, no more, we're done. Especially when they realize that they're not gonna get anything in return no matter how hard they work to woo you over. Where are they at? Well, to wrap this up, where they're at is sitting home or hanging out with their buds, playing video games, playing guitar, enjoying life. No longer having to deal with the drama, no longer having to deal with the financial drain of expensive dates, only to get ghosted shortly thereafter. No longer dealing with the ridiculous expectations. Oh, sorry higher standards, standards that you've all set. Ladies, I'm sorry to tell you, but men didn't create this situation. Nope. You did. But men have now seen it for what it is, and they're done and walking away. And the really sad... Remember, men not might, might not have created the problem, but we solve problems, and we'll solve it quickly. Part is, they ain't coming back anytime soon. This next drizzle, video drizzle. perfectly showcases why men are done with dating and marriage. Let's take a look. So there's a few things that I don't do as a married woman. Number one, I do not cook for my husband. I only cook for my children. My husband will be making his own breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Number two, I do not help him pay any bills. So if he is short on the rent, on utilities, or anything like that, it is not my problem. I will not be helping him out. His job is to... I remember this being some kind of skit or something for you guys telling me the last time. Does this that still seem legit to you? Does this that still seem like a woman would say these things straight up like this? Because, yeah, I've heard women say things like this in person. Provide for his family. So I am not financially contributing to any of the bills. Number three, we hear that. I do not do his laundry. I have my own laundry and my children's laundry to do. So he could do his own. I won't help him put it away. I won't help him fold anything like that's his responsibility 
Number four, he is responsible for replacing any of his essentials like soap, shampoo, anything like that. He needs to go buy it himself. Even if I'm at the store, I will not be replacing it for him. If he needs new underwear, new socks or anything like that, that's for him to do. I'm not going to do it for him. I'm not going to enable a perfectly grown ass adult because then they get used to that shit. So no. Well, that's the problem we have. We're enabling full grown adults now. It's called women. We need to stop it simps out there stop it stop giving these women resources stop helping these women out they're strong independent adults we shouldn't be babying them please subscribe down below really appreciate that and catch you guys next time Ciao.